Okay guys, welcome back to another video, um, today I'm going to be demonstrating to you, well, actually, hold on, let me flip the camera over, so I can hold it this way, I believe that's the right way, no, nope, it's the wrong way, so okay, that failed, um, today I'm showing you how to make this, it's called, this is camo netting, not tarpaulin, this is like, very, it's like that, netting stuff they use in the army, that's camouflage, as you can see, when you put this over a model, I'm just gonna look great. So basically, I'm just gonna show you how to create this. So the things you were gonna need is a piece of cloth. This is dish cloth. It is this stuff. Cut it up and then cut it in half because it's too. If I can do it one-handed, it is two layers in one. So you would cut this up and then cut it in half again. So you're left with one thin sheet. Three colors of ink. So I got brown green ink and the black ink for this you can do this any colors you can do this with like um, um a brown a khaki color and a yellow for calm desert and then you could do it with black gray and like a white lighter gray tone for um urban camouflage so basically again you just want to get a big paintbrush don't be shy with it, just get a load of it onto the brush and then just start dabbing it on. I mean be generous with it, don't be don't be shy with it. Just get it all on there. All dabbed on. The more the more you spread it out the better. Break it all up. So I'll just do this half of the cloth for now. So give your ink so because these are diluted, because I've diluted mine one part um three parts water to one ink just to help the colours run a bit better. It is also good to keep stirring them as the ink does tend to separate from the actual cloth and um, water so just add these up do certain areas like so the next we'll move on to a green give the green a stir to keep it all mixed in and then don't worry about going over the other colors um I think that's a bit okay it's just the rougher that looks the better the camouflage will, will get off So, don't worry if it goes over the others, it will all blend in very nicely. So, um, as you can see, like that, and then just Once you've got the green on like so, we then move on to the black once again. Give the black a stir up and then just fill off any leftover spaces. Like so. Sorry about going on to the other colours. All blend in. Thanks. Quite nicely. Don't worry about going to right to the edge though, because you'll probably end up trimming that off as they tend to free a bit more. Um, just get basically just even get it all covered. Like so, I'll use up all the ink because it'll just go all dry, feed into the pots towards the end of the use. So, once you've got a load of black on it, just move back then to a brown and just repeat this process and constantly filling the gaps in. Like this. 
so then I think we'll put some more green into it, make it look a bit greener than what it was. And I could put it here. The green is awfully thinner than the rest for some reason. I don't know, it's just probably because there's less ink pigment in the green. Once it's all blended in, like so, you'll be left, you should be left with something like that, just then touch it all up, so all the edges are worked in. Work that in here, and a bit of, just rub that off, and a bit more green over there. Just try and leave as little, you want to try and get rid of all the white as possible of these, so. Um, that's the painting process for this. This will go a lot darker when it's done. But, when, but we'll come back to this in about, um, this takes about an hour and a half to dry, two hours. All depends, it's quite warm here at the moment. So I'll come back now when this is all dried and I'll show you what you can do with it. So hey guys, um, unfortunately I don't have enough time to do a finished side of it. But this is what I'd done earlier. It was just a narrow strip as a bit of a test piece. As you can see, this side of the back a bit with all the white blemishes coming through but this is the top so you can see like where it's dry where all the greens and browns and blacks have all blended in together and I've used this bit to create this so here we have like some sort of ammo dump which has had camouflage net pulled over it um, I've super glued the tabs on the end I'm going to cut off that bit for there that frayed end so it's just a piece of plastic card with some i-beam bits on the bottom and it looks pretty good to be honest with you, you know you wouldn't be able to it'll look different on the table to most of the other things but you know it's really durable as well as you see here, like all the browns have blended into a green into a black all blends in as one which is really good so thanks for watching guys hope you like this um, quick tutorial on how to make this camel web stuff and I'll see you in the next one thank you